And we have this update for you. At least 16 people now were reportedly killed amid violent political protests in Venezuela following the presiden presidential election there. Demonstrators are demanding authoritarian ruler Nicolas Maduro accept defeat. He, though, is claiming victory, while the opposition says it has evidence showing they actually won. President Biden and other world leaders are calling on the government to release the voting data from Sunday's election. CBS News correspondent Christian Benavidez joins us now from Florida with more on this. And I want to start, Christian, by asking what specific evidence is being presented by either side and ultimately um, who will determine who won? Errol, that, that is yet to be seen who will ultimately determine uh, who won. The uh, election officials in Venezuela have declared Maduro the winner, but who will win out of this power struggle that's currently taking place? That's what's yet to be seen. Now, the Maduro regime says that he won by about 51 percent of the vote, uh, but they haven't released any of the tallies from polling centers, and that's what uh, the international community is calling for him to do, him and his government to do, to essentially uh, release the data from each of the polling precincts. Now, on the other side, uh, Maria Corina Machado, who is an opposition leader, she's not the opposition candidate, but is uh, certainly the leader of the opposition. She says that they have obtained, that the opposition has obtained about 84 percent of the printout tallies from those polling centers, and that those show an overwhelming victory by Edmundo Gonzalez, who is the opposition candidate. In fact, according to the tallies that they've released, it's about a two to one uh, victory for the opposition, which has led to these mass protests that are taking place in Venezuela. And we've seen that the government has cracked down hard and violently, as you mentioned, uh, 16 people, according to NGOs on the ground, uh, have died during these protests. And, and this was also interesting, Christian. I understand nearly a third of Venezuelans have fled the country since the beginning of the Maduro regime, and hundreds of thousands of them have come here to the U.S., where you are, some of them in Florida. What are you hearing from them about their reaction to the election and the protests? Errol, 7.7 million Venezuelans have fled their homeland, about 10 percent of them uh, approximately since 2014. It's thought uh, are here in the U.S. Many of them end up here. This is a Miami suburb, uh, Doral. Uh, right behind me is a, a restaurant where a number of people gathered yesterday to talk about the election results. What's so interesting is when you speak to Venezuelans who are living here in the States, they'll tell you that what they want to do is go home. But because of the instability in Venezuela, inflation over 100,000 percent is how much it's increased. Um, it, it's just the conditions of living are, are not possible for so many Venezuelans. They can't find food. They are forced in many cases uh, to leave their home to be able to just uh, have a normal life. We spoke to one woman who said that she spent 10 years, uh, she was born in Venezuela, spent 10 years protesting the government, uh, finally you know, made a decision to move here uh, to Doral. Uh, this is what she had to say about the unfolding uh, situation in Venezuela. They are fighting, but we don't have in our side the military uh, section. I wonder when Maduro says that he won the election by 51 percent of the vote, what do you say to it's that? It's totally wrong. It's not. It's, it's totally. He's a liar. In fact, the Carter Center uh, overnight releasing a statement saying that these elections cannot be considered uh, democratic. Even left-leaning governments in Latin America have come out, uh, notably Brazil, Lula da Silva, and in Colombia, Gustavo Petro calling for this to be a transparent election for all the tally results to be released. Um, so far, the government in Venezuela has refused to do that, something that, as I mentioned, they've done in past elections, uh, the precinct by precinct numbers of those tallies and the opposition saying that the tallies that they've obtained, 84 percent of them showing an overwhelming victory uh, by Edmundo Gonzalez. Errol? I know we'll all be watching this closely. Christian, thank you very much.